All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopefully elect, okay? Brothers out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity, okay? And you few uh, women and children that listen and learn. In sincerity and truth, all right. <clears throat> the brother Azariah right here with the Pittsburgh GMS camp, and um, I just wanted to okay, I talked to the uh, the, the beloved elder, uh, up and coming elder, but not to talk by uh, the, the brother I came up under out here in Pittsburgh before he uh, you know, the spirit had him uh, move to another place to edify. And um, uh, he you know, I, after we got off the phone, I, I saw a notification. <laughs> Of this video here, Commanding General Johanna sanctioned the Pittsburgh confusion. Of course, you know, as I just stated, I'm with the Pittsburgh camp, so we were in the midst of that, which I'm pretty sure brothers have seen it by now, you know. Um, and so, you know, the Spirit hopped on me before this to actually do some research and try to find out if they had posted the video anywhere. And I was looking around and I actually ended up finding not the video, they haven't posted it yet. And as far as I know, they haven't posted it yet, but I've actually found. Some of the places where they may post it if they decide to post it for whatever reason they're holding it back but you know i'm gonna go ahead and share that information with brothers today okay so this is one of the pages here okay it's called no cowards pittsburgh as you can see this dude here his name is hamakwabath okay and he's the guy who's been here in pittsburgh for a little bit you know they've been having this channel up about six months as you can see and i have some more information you know um going into this you know and uh, this was premeditated you know i want to show brothers this uh this uh this quick uh okay well uh, for those who haven't seen this video let's click on this first you know uh you know kind of link things together you know because as, as the title of the brother's video is yohanna sanctioned the pittsburgh confusion so let's click on this real quick right on israel commander general yohanna here isubk.com is the website and he's very happy of what happened, but they haven't posted the video. And when they do, they, they're probably editing. They're probably editing the crap out of that video because if they post it, it's going to be a bad look for them. I had to come holler at you for a second. Now you know I usually just you know roll in on nine o'clock Monday night. We get it on, but so much jumping off. I had to holler at you. Let me tell you, these are special, special time. Just the warm up before the big punishment. The Most High coming through. Hardcore. First of all, let me say a big shout out to Cap Makad Abarayam. Cap Makad and Captain Kapash got together with the Rangers, got out there and threw it down for the Most High in Christ in Pittsburgh, set it up, went out there to save them brothers and sisters' lives at the time they needed it the most. They need so as you can hear, he said big shout out to them for linking up and doing this and doing that and going out in Pittsburgh and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I was interested. And so I looked up, you know, I looked up some information. So turns out they actually have a Facebook page. I actually found this a while, a couple of days ago, uh, you know, like a day, a day or two ago, I found out they had a Facebook page, but it was dry as hell. So it wasn't nothing on there. They didn't put nothing up. You know, it was just, it was, it was damn near fruitless, man. Damn near fruitless and there barely any videos. And I was like, you know, whatever, you know, I mean, wasn't really tripping, but since the bro brought this out, you know, I want to go ahead and get a few, uh, a few images. All right, so this is this is proof that they set this whole thing up. So here you go, right here, right? ISUPK present. So this was the main dude that was barking at us. Oh, we taking your goddamn corner. That's your corner. That's your PK corner. This the nigga that's been down here. Okay, this is the the guy. And, and look at this whole thing. Friday the Thirteenth slaughter weekend. Got machetes and the scriptures say abstain from all appearance from evil. You niggas look like. You niggas look like scary movie characters. You look like, you know, the heels have eyes and, you know, whatever, you know. And this guy looks, this looks like a rapper. This is what you see for rapper. This is what the, you see for club promotions. But mostly you see this for mixtapes. This is the thing you see for mixtapes, man. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. But check it out. So let's just look at it. Captain Ahad, Captain Kapash, who he just, he just big those guys up, right? So I guess this is... Ahad and this is Kapasha and this is Ham Hamakwabath, which is gonna this is the guy who was in who came to Pittsburgh first. So you know, and you can see the different things, March thirteenth, twelve to six, 
was where the first one was going to be talking about breaking ground. Okay. And then uh, prepare slaughter lecture that happened from two to three thirty. Okay. Then right after we end up getting there around three eighteen or three twenty, something like that, maybe even three thirty, we hit the camp spot and started setting up. And so right after their lesson was over, they came to our camp spot on March 14th. That's when the camp got posted. And then the next day they had a lamb slaughter. And I was thinking about this spiritually. You know, the 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 the, the, the ones who hated the Messiah, they gathered all up. Okay, they gathered up and they and they persecuted the men of the Lord. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> persecuted the men of the Lord and they were searching for Yahweh Shai. Okay. You know, and um, you know, so basically it was like we per and then the next day and you see on the fifteenth they said they had the lamb slaughter, so it was basically kind of like what they did to the Messiah back then. You know, they persecuted the men of the Lord, okay, and then after that they crucified the Messiah. They slaughtered the lamb, right? So I just thought that was interesting, but as you can see, you know, so let's just get get into some scriptures, man. You know, you know, we ain't going to want to beat a dead horse, man. You know. Or drag it on too long. Uh, so we can close that now. Okay. So a few things popped to mind. You know. Um, as brothers is going into this whole thing. Of of, uh, of this being like the house of David. Versus the house of Saul. A few scriptures popped in, in my mind. And uh, you know. I'm just going to go into it now. So Second Chronicles 18 and 21. Right. Uh, no this ain't what I want first. I want first Samuel. Okay. First Samuel 18. And let's get uh, uh, verse six. <clears throat> and it came to pass as they came when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, that the women came out of all the cities of Israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tabrets, with joy and with instruments of music. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul have slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. And Saul was very wroth. And the saying displeased him, and he said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed but thousands. And what can he have more but the kingdom? You know, and if you kind of think about the spirit of, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, 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 let's talk about this first. Saul was, uh, Saul was jealous, man. Saul was jealous and envious at David because he was a mighty man, okay? He was a young and mighty man, okay? And Saul became envious when he got credit for the, the mighty works because the, the Lord gave him a greater portion uh, of the spirit. OK, um, now, when you think about this, the spirit that General Yohanna comes in, you know, he's called the most controversial man on the planet Earth. That's what he thrives on is controversy. But if you notice, the ones who get the actual most controversy are the apostles of, of Great Millstone. And it's not even because they're looking for it. It's just because we touch on all the scriptures and there are some things in the scriptures that are very controversial. So you can kind of ascribe it to that, you know, because he's looking to be the most controversial. His title is the most controversial man on earth, right? That's what he calls himself. But when it comes down to it, the ones with the most controversy and the ones who are talked about the most, the ones who are pinpointed the most, are the men of Great Millstone starting with our apostles on down. You see, they're the ones that are in everybody's mouth. Rapists, pedophile, all these fucking slanders. Okay, not General Yohanna. Okay, you don't hear too much about UPK, man, until they pull some bullshit like they did when they came to our camp. You see, so they're definitely coming in the stead of Saul because it's like they're jealous. They're mad they're, and they're envious that, that that controversy that they want is coming upon us when we ain't even looking for it. You see? <laughs> <clears throat> so let's uh read this again. First Samuel eighteen and uh eight. Hold on, Salaki. Alright, Salaki, I had to clear my throat. But um so I just you know I got the feature to pause the video, so I paused it for a second. But um all right, for uh first Samuel eighteen and eight, and Saul was very wroth, and the saying displeased him, and he said, They have ascribed unto David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed but thousands, and what can he have more but the kingdom? You know, and so Saul, man, he, he, he was jealous and he was envious, man. He, he was envious. Verse nine and Saul, I, David from that day and forward, he gave him the evil eye, man. Now this, I thought this was very interesting. Verse 10. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from the most high came upon Saul. And this was the key point that, that intrigued me. And he prophesied in the midst of the house 
Okay, so what this says to me is that an evil, most I can send out evil spirits onto these different prophets and they can prophesy deceit and lies, prophesy bullshit and deceit and lies. So let's, let's re continue. And David played with his hand as at other times, and there was a javelin in Saul's hand. And Saul cast a javelin, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. So an evil spirit can come and come, come upon these men and have them uh, from the left hand side and have them to prophesy lies and deceit. And that's what's on these uh, these men, man. OK, lies and deceit and jealousy. OK, and let's just back up that the Lord will send an evil spirit out into the mouth of these different prophets. Second Chronicles 18 and 21. And this is, you know, the, the sons of God, a.k.a. the angels, okay, is what it's talking about in this particular uh, aspect, okay? And they came around, gathered around the throne of the Most High. I remember, I just may have to go into it, right? Second Chronicles 18 and 18, and again, he said, Therefore, hear the word of Yahweh. I saw the Most High sitting upon his throne, and all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left, all the host of heaven that goes into the wicked angels and the righteous angels. And the Most High said, who shall entice who shall entice Ahab king of Israel that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead and one spake saying after this manner and another saying after that manner then there came out a spirit and stood before the most high and said I will entice him and the most high said unto him wherewith and he said I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets and Yahweh said thou shalt entice him and thou shalt also prevail go out and do even so so as you can see the most high sent that spirit to go be that lying spirit in the mouth of his prophets okay and that's what you see these days with these uh house of saul individuals man okay same same account different uh different chapter i believe okay um yeah first king 22 and 23 now this is this would be uh forget his name um uh, so like you I forget who this was dealing with the righteous man who was in here okay then said Ahaziah son of Ahab uh, let me see Osaphat so like you 23 scroll up Micaiah. Okay, so Micaiah said, Behold. So Micaiah was the one, if I'm not mistaken, who was, uh. Yeah, Micaiah was the one, um. Was the righteous man, okay? So Salaki, I just was trying to. I, I was, uh. I couldn't remember the brother's name. First King 22 and 23. Now, therefore, behold. So this is what Micaiah said. Yeah, how have put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, okay? And yeah, how have spoken evil concerning thee? Oh, see, I could have just read the next one. Salakia, brethren. But Zedekiah, the son of uh whatever that is, Salakia, Chin Chinaa, went near and smote Micaiah on the cheek and said, Which way went the spirit of Yahweh from me to speak unto thee? <laughs> wow. Hey, that evil spirit was on this guy. You know, that evil spirit was on this guy. Hey, that's the spirit of General Johannes in. Whatever I say, y'all just you take it. Y'all don't ask, don't question me. You know, like like the like the most high is dealing with only this guy. Which way went the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee? What do you mean? When when did the spirit hop off me to come tell your nigga ass something? And he went and slapped him. That's the spirit of these damn uh Saulites, man. I S U P K, man. You damn house of Saul, Saulites, man. Y'all some Saulites. Uh, Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his. You know? So, yeah, the deceived and the deceivers belong unto the Most High. Okay? So, if, if it's a, somebody out there preaching deceit, the Most High allowed them to do that. To trick who he want to trick. All right? And uh, let me see here. Let's get one more on this. Yeah, yeah, Jeremiah 4 and 10. 
Then I said, Ah, Lord, power, surely thou hast greatly deceived. Surely thou hast greatly deceived this people in Jerusalem, saying, Ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reacheth unto the soul. So is the Lord saying this, or is he putting the spirit on these false prophets to say, Peace, peace? Well, the Lord sending down his left hand angels to be a lying spirit in the mouth of these different false prophets to say peace peace unto these different people you know like like you see with bishop nathaniel and the iuic and in these christian churches where they preach peace and peace and prosperity for america babylon the great but anyway yeah, i just wanted to go on to that just kind of show some things oh yeah i got a, i think i had a couple more pictures you know it's another picture or whatever so they've been here for a while you know but they haven't been on the streets they haven't been on the streets you know i think i got another i got one more it's a screenshot which I don't know if it's on, uh, yeah, yeah. So you can see right here, it's a screenshot. It's that dude, you can see him in the video, okay? He was standing like in the middle, but he didn't, I didn't see him preach not once. So they just kind of came down there to come help him out. But as you see up here, it says, uh, November 14, 2019, boots on the ground in Pittsburgh. So this is what, that's how long they've been there. We've been out there all winter. They've been here since at least November 14, 2019. We ain't seen these niggas not once. And all of a sudden, they pop up on some we taking your corner type of shit. All right. Well, hey, brothers already sent up curses on you, man. May the most high deal with you accordingly for your wickedness unless you repent, man. And with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Habakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully lack of praise. Lesson was edifying. With that, I want to say Shalom.